All right, today we are looking at Home Improvement Reference Center. This is an EBSCOhost tool. Um, it is aimed mainly at helping homeowners um, maintain, uh, redecorate, um, and also remodel uh, different parts of their home. Um, so it has over 130 full text reference books on home improvement. Uh, it also has 40 full text magazines and over 100 videos to help with that. So to get started, we want to go to ohiowebliberary.org and we want to go to DIY resources and how to guides. Underneath that, you're going to see the third tool down is Home Improvement Reference Center. So from this main page, we can see a list of the categories that the premium resource covers. Um, we can hop directly into A to Z topics, and that'll give us everything there. Um, but you can see the main categories are decorating, electrical, maintenance, woodworking, remodeling, plumbing, and outdoor. Um, so if we hop in and browse for a topic, let's say we have a sink that's acting up and we need to know how to repair it. We can go into plumbing here. And it's going to give us a list of different uh, subcategories that we can choose from. So I want to know how to fix my sink, so I'm going to go down to Repairs and Maintenance. Underneath that, I can see a bunch of different subtopics that I can pick from. I'm going to go to Sinks here. All right, and rather than giving us a list of different articles to choose from here, it's actually going to direct us to a reference article um, that we can use to kind of help give us a baseline of knowledge for how to repair this type of sink. Um, so as I go to this reading view here, um, I want to point out the side toolbar, which will be familiar to anybody that's used an EBSCOhost product before. Um, one thing to note, you can print from either of these views, um, like either here or over here, I would recommend using this one because you can actually generate like a citation and kind of which will tell you where you got the information from, um, which could be really useful if you're trying to get back to it at some point as well. Um, so from here, you can also email the article directly. You can store that in a user folder. And in fact, I'll add that. Um, you can generate a citation here. Uh, in a bunch of different formats. You can create a permalink so you can get back to the article very easily. Um, and you can also share this out through social media platforms too by clicking here. Um, lastly, you can just download the PDF by clicking up here, but you can also do the same thing from here. So these two are uh, essentially the same. Um, you can browse the contents of this magazine too by using the uh, table of contents over here on the left hand side. You can see you can browse through here and you can enlarge if you go up to this header here and you can make it smaller and you can rotate as well. So let's head back to the front page here and instead of browsing let's do a search. So let's see I would recommend using the predictive searching that pops up down here. This is really useful if you're not sure exactly what you're looking for. Um, I'm going to see what type of topics we get if I do sinks here. So let's see. If I knew exactly what was going on with my pretend sink here, like I could jump directly into this if it was a clog. Um, so that's a way to kind of zero in on information without um, just putting in your first search. I'm not exactly sure what's up with my sink, so I'm going to just go to sinks in general here. Click search. I can see a bunch of different topics here, and this is where I want to point out uh, the limiters on the left-hand side. So I can make sure I only have full text articles if I click here. I can also adjust the publication date if I only need up-to-date information. Let's say like my sync model was only made like, I don't know, from in the last like five years, I could zero in on that. Or let's say it's really old and was only made in the 90s, so I'd want to pull it back to um, before 2000. Um, I can also adjust the source type here. Um, so not only can I just zero in on like magazines and books, um, I can also do bigger topics like remodeling, plumbing, decorating, and there's actually a slew of other ones that we can click on as well. Another cool thing to note is, remember that article that we added before? 
um, into our folder. So this is our user folder over here. And I can go through here, and if something looks interesting, I can tick pretty much anywhere here to add more articles, and that'll add to my folder view. Then I can go over here, and I can either save these articles, I can email them, or I can print them directly from here. So that's a quick way to kind of get through a lot of content very quickly. Uh, I'm going to hop back to the main page, because I want to show you guys this really cool part, too. Um, so, like we were talking about before, there's a hundred how-to videos on here. Um, you can jump directly to these by clicking there, and then you can enter a search to kind of whittle down what you're looking for, or you can use the limiters to kind of pull down what you're looking for as well. If we go back, there's also a really handy conversion chart that we can use. Um, there's a glossary of terms for people that might not be sure, like, you know, exactly which part is named what or anything like that. Um, this is a really cool feature, too, the Homeowner's Journal. So this is a blank PDF that is going to let us kind of uh, detail different things about home ownership and about like when we've made repairs, different things like that. So this is a great tool for you to keep track of the different things that you need to as a homeowner. And lastly, there's advice here on working with contractors. So a really robust tool um, that's really easy to use. I would definitely recommend it for any new homeowners. Um, so that is Home Improvement Reference Center. Thank you for listening.